okay so i'm here to tell you guys how to get 1,000 subscribers fast i did it and you can definitely do it i know it looks like now that like oh i'm at five subscribers i'm at 10 i'll never get there but i'm gonna share with you tips and tricks that i used on my channel and three other channels i helped to get monetized to let you guys know how to do it and you can do it quickly so stay tuned if you guys want to see and yeah listen up okay so if you're from my last video some of these videos all in one day pretty much so you're gonna see this shirt a lot so keep that in mind that's one of my tips for you guys too i'll tell you later on in the video my first tip to you if you have not seen my last video go check that out it's about how to get monetized fast by doing this one thing that worked for me so we're going to elaborate more on that so basically number one was choose your niche and what kind of vids you will be making so that's the most important thing when you're starting out you have to figure out what kind of videos you're going to make they can be how-to videos they can be cooking videos they can be mukbang videos food videos anything that you know how to do anything that you know how to show somebody put it up there make a variety of different videos and see which one works for you that's the best way to do it i would say not start out with vlogs i said this in my last video do not start out with vlogs unless you have a really exciting life and you know you're doing things every single day but nobody wants to see you just in your room watching tv eating popcorn like they don't want to see that you're not going to get subs like that basically so remember pick your niche see what's going to happen make different videos and see which works for you this is what i did i've did so many if you look back at my channel when i was trying to get my channel monetized and get my hours i made so many different videos you'll see videos clothing hauls try on hauls hygiene videos hair videos movie review videos and actually the movie review videos were something so different to my channel and it really helped me get my channel going like i was making all these videos yes the hair videos doing good and other things like that but when i did the movie review videos that's when my channel really started to take off people started to notice my channel so from there i changed it up to what i am now i am a different type of niche i'm not a niche that nobody ever had before really i make shein coupon code videos if you guys seen it and i had made that one shein coupon code video if you guys look back at my channel and it just exploded it got 13,000 views and i've never got that many views on a, a video before so i was like oh wow so this works this is what they want to see so i'm going to repeat this and i've been repeating that ever since you can go look back at my views 30,000 views 32,000 views and i was a very small youtuber at the time i'm still small at this point like i have 7,000 subs but my video my channel is like 11 years old so so many of those subs are not active so just keep that in mind like once you see something working you stick to that until you're able to change it up once you get monetized and stuff like that you can do whatever you want but i would still say make the videos that your people want to see next is try to hop on trendy videos for now like if you see something keep popping up let's just say you see a video about how i do nails or something like that or how i groom my dog or whatever whatever popular videos is around and you can do that and you can relate to those videos and recreate those videos i would say go for it because people are searching these topics and your video will eventually pop up and somebody will click on it and they will watch it trust me when i tell you guys i've done this many times and this worked for me so you have to look at what the trendy videos are i see so many videos popping up on my feed and it's the same type of videos from different creators over and over and over again and they're getting views i'm seeing they have 15,000, they have 10,000, 5,000. it's obviously working so up on the trends for now until you get monetized it's going to help build your channel really fast and your subscriber count so another thing too is that when you're making videos put at least three hashtags that are related to your video so if your video is about let's say i'm gonna use food because that's like one of the most popular you can put hashtag and this goes in your description box you can put hashtag food hashtag foodie hashtag food reviewer when you type in these hashtags food or whatever little uh other things will pop up like recommended ones when you're putting in a description box or whatever you'll see it so just use those mukbang etc whatever is related to the video let's just say you have a video about bunny rabbits you will put bunny i mean hashtag bunny hashtag rabbit hashtag pet you know it has to just literally go with the video and that helps your video get more discovered by more people and in turn get you more subscribers thing two also use tags some people say tags don't work but i've always used tags in my video you'll go down in the description area you'll go all the way down i'll try to put an example up here and you'll use tags related to your video like when i do shein videos my tags will be shein shein haul shein coupon codes she in try on haul whatever make sure it just has the thing in the title you review a mcdonald's make sure you put mcdonald's burger in there 
fries, french fries, etc. It's like a no-brainer. Just put those tags there. You could do like five tags, ten tags, however many you want, as much as it'll allow. But just put different words in there and you'll do it. And as you do it more and more, you'll get more used to it. So back to me wearing the same shirt. Film videos in advance. This is what I do if you want to stay ahead. If you're a busy person and let's just say you have Saturdays off and Sundays off only or whatever, take a Saturday and film two to three videos and then edit it along, you know, during the week as you go along so you won't be behind. You don't want to start filming and your videos start taking off and then you just go on for two weeks because that's really going to kill your channel if you do something like that. Like once you start getting that momentum and YouTube starts recommending your videos and you will get to that point. Don't say, oh, I'll never get to that point. You will get to that point that they start recommending your videos. You want to stay on that roll, on that wave. Once you get on that wave, do not get off until you get monetized and get your subscribers up and your hours up. So film in advance. You could film one video in advance, two videos in advance and schedule them out. When you schedule your videos, you don't have to worry about stuff. So you schedule your videos, it goes up, and then you just go about your day. Subscribers will get your content out and you won't have to be stressed out or nothing like that where you say, oh, I gotta make videos every day. Then and then, no, film in advance. I'm literally filming these videos in advance on the same day. I'm filming like maybe four videos today or whatever. So you will see the shirt a lot. I have clothes. Don't worry, I have clothes. So yeah. The thing too that's very important is interact with your supporters. When you see comments up there, don't just say, they say, oh, I love your video so much. Yes, you can just say thank you, whatever. You can heart the comment or whatever. But I would say actually chat with your subscribers. They like that interaction back and forth. Don't just leave the comments blank. Answer them when you can, but don't wait. Let's say your video came out on the 12th. Don't wait till the 25th to answer the comment. They're not going to see it. They're going to think, oh, you know, she, they don't care about us or whatever. Your subscribers and your supporters are very important to interact with. So make sure you answer those comments, any questions that they have. And yeah, and if you got haters or people that's leaving bad comments, just block them. Don't let them get to you. Block them out. Remove them from your channel. It's very easy. I do it all the time. So yeah, no negativity, only positivity. Another tip is be yourself from the gate. Do not pretend to be somebody that you're not because it's going to be really hard to keep that up as your channel goes along more and more. And they're going to see the change in you when you're not being yourself. So be yourself. YouTube is a lot about personality. Someone will watch you. I don't care if you think you have the most boringest, driest personality. Somebody out there will relate to you. So you don't have to have this over the top, like Mr. Beast personality and screaming and all this type of stuff. No, just be yourself. Somebody, people like to watch calm videos too. They don't always like to see all of that, you know, fireworks and theatrics and this and that, dramatic stuff. Like people like to see chill content as well. So keep that in mind like i said be yourself it does not matter if you feel like you're boring be yourself the thing too is do not get discouraged youtube takes time like it definitely takes time but once you end up getting monetized all of that time all that hard work that you put in there it will be definitely worth it for you you'll see the payoff and you'll be very proud of yourself so do not get discouraged people end up having let's just say they get 800 subs and then you just see them disappear because it's too hard to get to the finish line don't do that. Like if you're gonna work hard, you didn't decide to do this, this channel, put the work in now and you'll reap the benefits later. Another thing that really brings your subs to your channel to get your thousand subscribers is shorts. YouTube shorts. I stress this so much. People ask me like, what should I do with my channel? My channel is stagnant. It's not moving. I'm not getting any views. Make YouTube shorts. It helps people that will normally not ever see your content. It helps them get it out there because YouTube pushes shorts out like crazy. So make YouTube shorts. I elaborated on this in my last video. So go back and check that out. So once you post the video, I would say post the short four to five hours after that. Let's say you post at three o'clock to short at seven or eight o'clock after that and, and schedule it. And to make sure you put related video is the video that you made from it, the long form content. So make sure you are posting shorts. Shorts help your video and it helps bring subscribers. I have gotten one time a short like 256 new subscribers. I've gotten 90 subscribers. So shorts really do help your channel. So keep that in mind, especially for smaller YouTube channels. So shorts is the way. Another thing too is to make thumbnails. I know everybody really can't make thumbnails, but it doesn't matter. Even if you have a thumbnail, it's just you smiling and you have some text on the screen, make thumbnails. I also make thumbnails for people. So if you guys ever wanted me to make a thumbnail for you, obviously I charge money, but make a thumbnail for you. you email me down below if you guys are serious about it and we can discuss the thumbnails and stuff like that and what you would want. But if you want to make it on your own, PixArt is definitely the way to go. Download PixArt. 
it's an app canva also works too but pixar is my favorite it has so many different features and stickers and it's super easy to use it's free so i would highly recommend pixar make thumbnails do not just sit here and let youtube pick your thumbnails because you're not going to stand out from the crowd the main thing is to stand out from the crowd like i said it doesn't have to be no fancy crazy over the top thumbnail but it could just be you smiling or going like this and put some text on the screen and somebody will click trust me when i tell you and then the last thing i have for you guys is to keep posting don't stop the more they see you pop up they will eventually watch you trust me there's been many times where i've seen people pop up on my feed constantly 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 so the curiosity ended up getting to me i said you know what? i'm gonna click this video because i'm gonna see what it's about i don't know this person they're they're planting things i don't even like plants but i'm gonna click the video so curiosity will get the best of them they keep seeing your face popping up over and over and over again they're gonna eventually click on your video whether it's they want to come and hate on you or they want to come and watch you and support you you know whatever as long as you get the click and the view that's the main thing and maybe you can get them to subscribe as well so if they see one video sometimes they'll click on the next one the next one the next one they like your personality they want to see more of you and they see that you guys are consistent and they can expect a video from you every single week that's the best way to do it it's like think about it as you wanting to see your favorite tv show and you know it's coming on at friday at seven o'clock if you turn on your tv and you don't see that show at seven o'clock you go what happened why would they not you know put it on i'm disappointed so that's how your subscribers feel too when you're not being consistent like you post then let's just say you post three weeks in a row and then the fourth week come and there's zero videos and you don't tell them anything about it i'm going to tell you my next video also how to use community posts and different things like that to let your subscribers know if you're not going to be around because you know life happens if you're not going to be around if you're going to be sick if you can't post you just keep in touch with them always keep in touch with your subscribers your supporters interact with them that is the most important thing so those are my tips for you guys to get 1,000 subscribers fast faster than you getting them now because if you are struggling it's definitely going to be hard for you to get those subs if you don't use the tips that i just gave you right here so go back listen to what i said and in my next video i'll be telling you how to get any channel 4,000 watch hours on youtube the easy way any channel i don't care who you are what you're doing right now i can definitely help you so if you want to see that video tune into my next video and i'll see you guys there